If God is sovereign and has chosen people before the foundation of the world, why bother preaching the gospel? The answer, of course, though, is uh, I can give a couple of pointers to it which are fairly important. The way in which God puts his choice into effect is through the preaching of the gospel. How does God call his chosen into his kingdom? It is through gospel preachers. He doesn't have to do that. He didn't need to do that. He could have sent an angel flying middle heaven to call out the eternal gospel as in Revelation 14, but he doesn't. He chooses to use us to share the gospel with others so that the elect will hear and respond and come in repentance and faith. So we're doing it out of obedience to him. But it also means that our gospel preaching is not measured by success and failure in converts. Furthermore, it keeps us motivated to preach the gospel because as long as I think there's gold in that hill, I'll keep digging. As long as I think there are elect in our society, I'll keep preaching. Furthermore, it means I can be preaching, to, I can be praying as I preach because if God cannot change the heart of people, there's no point praying to God about them. Furthermore, I gain no credit and success when people are converted because it is of God, not of me, that they were converted. So a whole range of differences come once you understand election and evangelism.